Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, as always. Today, I have a very special guest. She is allowing us into her home today in New Jersey. It is the lovely Kim Perella, who is one of the co-stars of a new web series called Three Moms Walk Into A, followed by dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and the dot, dot, dot is actually a different scenario and situation every week. So, Kim, welcome to you. Thank Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. Well, thank you're you. in your home, so thank you for having us. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you. So a brand new web series that you're a part of through Nick Mom. Nick Mom. Nick Mom. It is called Three Moms Walk Into A. And yes. each week at, after the A starts a different scenario. So you've been to a ball field. You've been to a zoo. Yeah. So you've, you've done pretty much a lot of things we so have. far. We have. We have. We went to a, a Chelsea um, art gallery. Uh -huh. um, We've just done a lot of fun things. It's been a lot of fun filming that series. And it's actually, you're one of three moms. So there's two other yep. moms that you're part of. So tell us a little bit about the show and some of the unusual situations and why they put you into those things. Okay, yeah, great. Um, it's funny because the, they don't really want to tell us too much ahead of time of what we're going to be walking into. They want to shock you. They sort of want to, <laughs> I mean, they give us a hint a little bit uh -huh. where we're going to go, but they don't say really what we're going to be doing, which is sort of the fun for us. And it's three of us. There's Joey Fortman and Tina Lamort and myself. Um, Joey is sort of your Midwestern girl, grew up in a log cabin, and she's in a different place in her life than I am. She has two small kids. She's just... And she lives now in this area, obviously. But she grew up from the Midwest, so she's like our country girl. <laughs> Tina is like our city girl. That's, these are my you know, descriptions. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, girls, you'll have to, like, this is my description. Of it. Um, and she's our city girl, and she's very, uh, she has two kids also. Her kids are a little bit older, but, you know, they're in grade school or what have you, but not infants yet. And uh, she has her own business called Oso Fab. So she's an event planner. And she works a lot, but she's a, a mom who is stay at home and also runs a business. Right. So she's very business so she's minded. Busy. Yeah, she's <laughs> very, very busy. They're both very busy. Joey also runs business, doing her own media things. Oh, wow. And I'm sort of the opposite of the two of them. <laughs> I grew up Jersey Shore. I love, love it. I do. I actually love it. I really do. I'm still here, never want to go anywhere. I, I love it at the Jersey Shore. But I'm in a different place in my life. My children are older. I'm an empty nester. My youngest daughter is in her second year of college. Oh, wow. So we have very, you know, different places that we are in our life, which is sort of fun for filming the show because we all have different ideas of what we're going to do when we walk into the dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so it does make it funny and fun. I think the title alone, we were talking about the title a little bit. Yeah. And I think it kind of makes you curious as to what it's about. Because yeah. as I said, you've been to the ball field and you've been to the art gallery and you've, you've shoveled in heels, <laughs> part of my French, which we'll get to that. that was, I find it a very funny webisode. Yeah, it, it And was. that's exactly what it is. It's a webisode right now. Yeah. But um, feedback has been very positive from the viewers that have seen it. Yes, we have gotten a lot of really great feedback. So we're really happy about that. We worked really hard on it. Honestly, we were really proud of it. And we, our goal was to make people laugh. So, you know, we knew that that would happen just naturally because the three of us and when we're together, our, our chemistry sort of, that's what happens. And moms, you know, moms are so used to handling everything right. that we just do it. So we walk in, they tell us what to do, and they're like, well, you're a mom. If you're a mom, you can pretty much do anything. You can do anything, like, anything What do you right? need me to do? <laughs> and I had heels on when I had my kids, and I'll have heels on at the zoo. I love it. I love it's it. It's sort of what I like to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't leave home without them. No, very rarely. Very yeah. rarely I do. I love it. That is so funny. So, But as I said, it's doing phenomenal on the web right now Thank and you. and I think it's interesting too because there's not a show out there for moms like moms are probably stuck watching Nickelodeon and mm -hmm. Spongebob and, right. <laughs> and all those so really there's nothing out there for moms like yourself to really laugh and, and kind of relate to right yeah and that is really the goal too for moms to be able to sit back your kids go to bed have a glass of wine and have just a good laugh Re then let the stress exactly. of the day and the kids <laughs> and the family and the job and just relax and have a good laugh. So exactly. that's exactly what our goal is. Well, let's talk about some of the webisodes that you've been a part of. The okay. first one is um, you got to sing the national anthem at the ballpark, oh. which there was some feedback. Yeah. feedback. <laughs> Tell us about that. Oh, we were dying. <laughs> so we start singing. First of all, they, they really don't give us much notice. It's not like we had much notice ahead of time to know oh that gosh. that's what we were doing. So now we're on our way 
to the ball field and we're sort of like trying to create parts between the three of us. You sing this part, you sing this part, you sing this part. Well, can you reach this note? Can you do this? It just so happens we were all able to sort of hold a note. So it worked out fine, but they didn't know when they told us to do this whether or not we could sing or not sing. So oh on gosh. the way there, we were a little, it was nerve wracking. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, I was so stressed out. I had like hives. <laughs> it's one of my biggest fears is singing in public. Oh my God, I can't sing at all. Okay, I can do this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just, I, I don't know. It's always been that way. So then you guys started. So and then all we of a start, sudden, you uh, just hear. Whoa. We're like, here it comes. And you hear the feedback and it's making noise. And none of us want to like stop or do anything so we just kind of like roll through it and it stopped it stopped right after that but right then we were like oh my god we were afraid it was going to happen the whole time but it was fun it was fun it feedback was. made its way through we made right through the whole song nobody messed up it turned out <laughs> great we were happy Woo yeah Woo well we actually have a clip of it. let's take a look at it right now great Start first notes okay, and then all of a sudden, feedback. Who's brought stripes and bright stars? Feedback? Really? Of course we get feedback because of course that's just what happens to anything in life as a mom. Feedback. They all have something to say. All right, so that was actually one of your episodes. You've mm -hmm. done three so far, actually, right? We've done four. Four. Uh, we've done... The next one you visited the zoo. The next one we visited the zoo. Oh my gosh, that's where you are literally, I kid you not, in heels, shoveling poop. I know. <laughs> it was so funny because we walk in, they're like, okay, so uh, we're going to go to the zoo. And I'm like, hmm, okay. A little different they're than like, changing diapers yeah. as a mom, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when they said that, you're thinking, oh, what are they going to make us do at the zoo? We're thinking... Oh, are we going to have to feed the little animals? And we're like, oh, look, we'll take care of a chinchilla. I don't know. You know, <laughs> then they bring us in and they're like, oh, no, we got stuff for you to do. I'm like, I, and I'm really the type, I will take on anything. I enjoy the challenge. So when they say, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, I'm like, let's go. And I didn't care if I had heels on or not. I'm used to wearing my heels. Work, I'm like, I could do it. <laughs> and the woman, the, the zookeeper was like, are you going to wear this? I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are like my Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wear like, for Nikes. I can run in these babies. Yeah, yeah it was so much fun. So they it brought us into like different, it. they had us feeding animals. They had us cleaning the horses, <laughs> cleaning the horses stall. And it was really fun. And the part that you didn't really get to see on the show, we laughed for 20 minutes at the sheep. I believe it. It sounds funny, but they were right across from the horses stall. The whole time they're doing their <laughs> and every time we were trying to, you know, talk to each other, we would just start laughing because that the whole time, and they're sticking their tongue out. It was like the commercial. Isn't that a commercial <laughs> with cheap somewhere? Yes. Well, I was telling you, tears running down my face. I believe it. It was just, this is fun. And the fourth one, which was actually my favorite one, was the firehouse episode. Did you see that? I think I did. You know, now that I think about it, I missed the art gallery one, okay. but I remember the fire episode. The firehouse. Oh, it was so funny. We walk in and Tina, she, like I said, she was a city girl. So she would go to the, you know, firehouse parties when she was single before. Uh -huh. So she was like, oh my God, it was like a, a flashback for her. We're going to a firehouse. She's like, you know, firemen are hot. Fun like, flashbacks. Oh, firehouse, let's go. Yeah. So was, they were so great though. And the three of you had not met each other prior to doing this show. So what was it like to meet? Like, were you nervous meeting the other two moms if you were going to hit it off? Um, you know what? We met at each other's, well, first Tina and I met, and then we met at Tina's house, uh -huh. and the three of us just talked and got to know each other, and it was very, very much immediate, the connection between us. There wasn't a question of, oh, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? Not even for a second. We immediately awesome. all connected and just fell in love each other with each other, so it didn't, it didn't even... So that's why it jives so well. It, I mean, anybody that has seen it, or, or you can visit the website, of course, yes. um, to check it out. We'll give you that at the end of the show. But you can see that you guys really do connect, and yeah. it's, it, you have so much fun doing it, we and that's really, what's important. We really, really do. We just loved each other, and it just worked. 
before. Wow. Great. Yeah. Amazing. So, but no, we did not know each other for very long before we started filming. Not at all. Wow. Yeah. And it's doing great. I mean, you know, there is talk, hopefully, within the next year, it'll be on the actual network. That but as I said, it's getting great reviews from the viewers that have seen it so far. So yeah. you must be so proud. I You're turning am. into this big reality star <laughs> now. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Who Never knew? was it my uh, aspiration or dream to be on TV, ever. Right. And it's so funny how things just come into your life and things change and opportunities come and now like I said I'm at a different point in my life where I'm yeah. more open to trying new things and just going for it whereas when I was younger I think I sort of it is funny how you change when you get older yeah. I was a little bit more apprehensive about doing things and oh what if it doesn't work or what if someone doesn't like it or just all different reasons right. and now I really am open to trying pretty much anything Right, and um, for people, people probably do recognize you as well because your sister is the lovely Melissa Gorga. She is. You're also beautiful. So thank jealous. you, thank you. Uh, from the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So you have made a couple of guest appearances yeah, there. So we have. you're no stranger to the camera no. whatsoever. What was that experience <laughs> like for you? You know what? That was also, I mean, it was so strange because you don't ever expect to be on TV. Yeah. So when she first found out she was going to be on, we were all like, you know, so excited. It's like, oh my God, you're gonna be on TV? And then you see somebody, you're like, oh my God, somebody we know is on TV. It was really, truthfully, it was, yeah. seemed like such a big deal. So anytime she had anything that she was doing, I mean, we always do everything together. Right. So we would be there and of course support her in any of her ventures that she was doing. And you're all very close. You live very close in range as well. I mean, yeah. we're out here in, in your home in New Jersey today and, and she's over there and mom's right over there yeah, so you're are. all very close and we're together all the time That's it's great. always been that way so it's huge sort support of, system yeah it's just how our family is we've always grown up like that as a matter of fact we tease each other and call each other monkeys because we're constantly <laughs> hanging on each other like we're always together so when she started that show it was very exciting because you just think oh this is going to be great and so much fun and uh -huh. she's always really been like our little star you know yeah so um it was i mean we have fun doing it after Do you think you'll ever join the cast? I don't know. No. I really, not that I think that they would want us to join, the, want me to join the cast, but I, I honestly, even if they wanted to, you know, when Melissa joined the cast, it was, you don't know any better. So if you would have asked me that question, you know, when she joined, if they asked to join together, it would have been, sure, absolutely, would have been so much fun. Right. Now that you see that the direction that the show goes in, it doesn't necessarily fit my lifestyle. It's a lot of drama. Yeah, it as is. As most reality shows are. And, they are. And that's what people absolutely love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't always fit everybody's personality. No, it know? really, you... and it doesn't fit my personality. Not so I get it. It's just not something I'd be interested in. But it did just being on in the background on that show has really given me opportunities that I wouldn't have had before. So right. um, it's not all bad. No, not at all. I mean, now you're in this new show. That's right. The new webisode. So that's so exciting for you. And again, I love it. So we will give you the website at the end of the show for people to check it out. Thank and, you. And definitely post, uh, post your views. And Kim is on Twitter as well. So you can tweet her and, and retweet. And I'm just getting into my Twitter now, like heavily into it. Are you? I'm yeah. learning new things still. And Two years of doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so big, Twitter. Everything is. is on Twitter now. I love Instagram. Like, I'm addicted. Like, I'll take anything and then just hashtag it. And like, oh, like, 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 follow. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, follow, follow. <laughs> and I've just started with the Instagram, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Social media is just so insane this day and age. You know what? With the way society is today, you have to be a part of social you media. You really do. Everything involves social media. And it's a great marketing strategy for people that are starting new projects like ourselves. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So it's great to get it out there. A lot of connections, a lot of people that you meet through social media. Mm -hmm. I've met some really, really great, great friends yeah. through social media. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It's it so is. crazy. I love it, actually. So, And occasionally you visit New York. So you are part of Off-Broadway. Our good friend Anthony Wilkinson has two phenomenal shows Off-Broadway, yeah. My Big Gay Italian Wedding and Funeral. And funeral. You got to play the lesbian best friend. Yes, that's me, Lucia. <laughs> My name's Lucia. We would never know. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a far cry from who I really am. Right. I mean, I don't look like her or anything. I mean, it's so, the character is so, which is why Anthony thought 
I'd be great at it. Yeah, you it's are. It's so similar to who I really am. Uh -huh. It's like, it's not really a stretch for you. You know, you may not be a lesbian, but you're pretty much her anyway, you know? <laughs> okay. It's a great show. Right. Yeah, I mean, Anthony's wonderful to work with. Uh, he's he done is. our show several the times. The whole cast. When I'm telling you, they made me feel so comfortable and so yeah. welcome, because I had never, ever done anything in theater, on stage at all. Wow. So I really worked my butt off at home, studying and all, you know, everything that I could possibly do because uh -huh. I didn't want to go and disappoint anyone or, you know, not try my best at the very least. Right. So I really worked my butt off and I was nervous as anything, really nervous. And <laughs> um, the cast just made me feel so comfortable. It was amazing. Such a wow. great, great They really group. are such a great group. I mean, we're friends with a lot of them. Deborah Toscano, Megan. All of them. You know, we love all of them. Love them all. And I, you know, I haven't seen it when you were in there, but I heard wonderful things about it. Thank Again, you. your family came down to support they you. They did. We sold out the first night wow. and almost the second night. That's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That's it was so really awesome. fun. And yes. as you said, that was like your debut. So were you nervous to get out there in front of all those so people? So nervous. It's so funny because, of course, I knew every single line that I had to know. Mm -hmm. And then I walk into the stage and I'm on the, you know, wings waiting to walk into your part or whatever time it was for your cue. And as soon as I would get there, whoever was standing next to me, it was like a blank, total blank. I remember nothing. I'd be like, oh my God, oh my God, I forget what I'm supposed to say. Where am I supposed to go? And then as soon as you walk out, it, you know, because you just practice and you've rehearsed, yeah. it comes all back to you. See, but that's like my biggest fear. It's like, you know, as much as I've done a little acting over the summer, it's like, that's my biggest thing. It's like when it's live, I'm like, <gasps> but when it's taped and I can be like, okay, cut, let's do it again. Yeah. Then I'm okay, you know? <laughs> yeah, theater, no, no cuts, no, no retakes. Oh yeah. my goodness, pressure is on. No, But no. a great experience. You're actually returning to the show in January and I February. Am. January 25th and 26th, I will return, and February 15th and 16th. Fabulous. So, Fabulous. I so am if you're interested, visit Ticketmaster.com. Kim will be there January and February at mm -hmm. my big gay Italian wedding and funeral at the fabulous St. Luke's Theater it with is. Anthony Wilkinson. I love it. I really do. I, I never thought that I would love it as much as I do, but I really do. Well, so you never know. You could end up in theater next. I could. You could be the next Broadway star. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kim. <laughs> Just Kim. I love it. <laughs> I came home the next day and my husband says, babe, you know what I just realized? You should be an actress. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. He's so proud. Look for it. And, you, you know, know, you're beautiful. You're all well, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You have to look for it. He was just, you know, so proud of his wife and like, give me that nice little pat on the back. He's so cute like that. He's a great, supportive, supportive husband. Wow. Yeah. So you've never done anything like this prior to. No. Wow, well, you've just been a mom raising your family. Yeah, really. That's, wow. I, uh, the only thing I ever did since I had my children was I sold uh, candles with an at-home candle company called Party Light, which oh, is yes. a huge company. Yes, I was a fan. For 15 years, I sold Party Light. Wow. And I loved it, and I did it because I was able to be home during the day with my kids mm -hmm. and then work as I chose and whenever I chose at night or on weekends or what have you. And it was fun, those parties. I used to go to them. You used to have God. wine, you know, well, at least my, our yeah. hostesses had oh, yeah. wine. We I had always a good time. had wine. It was great. It was the best <laughs> job ever. You would leave the kids at home. Uh -huh. My husband would wash them and bathe them and put them to bed. It was like bed. a girl's night out. <laughs> yeah. And I would have wine and a snack and sell candles. Yep. But it was really a, an amazing experience for me. But it was really all I did right. before was it, I did this. Was it hard to break into something new? Um, I mean, were you hesitant at all or, or nervous I, no, about like doing No, like I said, this? really, I wasn't. I was really searching for what I was going to do with the rest of my life now. Yeah. I finally got to that point where I was like, what am I going to do now? And I'm not, I'm just not the person that can just be home and you know, shopping and lunch, on. you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Not that I don't enjoy that, I do, <laughs> but I need more for me. It's just more important for me right. to do something. And in addition to doing the webisodes now with Nick Mom and, and guest starring off Broadway, you also you're a bit of a great cook in the kitchen too. You have I some am. instructional videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. You're very much into food blogging and healthy cooking. Yeah, I love food. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to be the first to say it, but I do too. The truth <laughs> is, I am a, your typical Italian. I mean, I grew uh -huh. up in a family where food was very important, or 
just part of everything that we did. So yeah. if you were happy and you were celebrating, oh, let's all have a dinner. <laughs> and if it was, oh, we're sad, you know what? Come on, honey, let's go make dinner. Let's go like, eat. You know let's what? It was see. like, yeah. So it, no matter what, it was always all about food. Yeah. My grandmother was always over, always cooking in the kitchen, my nanny, which is why I talk a lot about her on my um, blogs because she taught me a lot of what I do. My mother was a great cook as well, but really, nanny was very yeah. passionate about cooking and she loved it. My mother's so, very good, but see, I'm Polish. That's my heritage. So oh, my yeah. grandmother can make the galumkis and the pierogies mm -hmm. and the kibasa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I really started that on a, a sheer whim with no intention of doing a second video. A friend of mine who lives in California really wanted to learn how to cook, and I promised her that I would help her learn. So <laughs> I stacked my books, literally took my cookbooks, stacked them up, put my iPad on, oh pressed play, and whatever I was making for dinner that night is what I cooked. And I aired it, and it was on YouTube, and uh -huh. I used it as part of my radio show when I had a radio show. And people really loved it, and the feedback was great, and people started sending me messages. Can you make this? Can you make that? And I said, all right, I'll try another one. So I did another one, and it just became part of our yeah. weekly segment. I mean, you're so natural doing it. Like, I could see you on the Food Network having your own cooking show. Yeah. I mean, that could be the I, next step of your I life. I would totally love that. Because <laughs> I was watching them, and I, I, I actually made your potato and string bean dish, which is on there as well. And, and that was, was one of Nanny's recipes. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was so good. Even yeah. that, that was me making it. Imagine yeah. if you made it. Oh, so good. But, um, you know, you're just so natural about doing it the way you're explaining it. It's like I feel like I'm watching Food Network right Thank now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because I, I think part of, of that is because I really did it with no intentions of, oh, I'm filming something. Like, right. I was just cooking like I normally cook in whatever everyday clothes I had on that day and, you know, <laughs> filming it for my girlfriend at the time. And then it just... You know, I would just do it once a week. All right, what yeah. am I making for dinner? Here's what you're getting this week. And I would just post it <laughs> for the radio show. Fantastic. But it was fun. Really? You know what? If I were to do something like that, what I really love doing and what I find that I'm good at is, like, if you have no idea, I'm the type that 5 o'clock will come and the kids will go, what's for dinner? And I'm like, oh, God, I have no idea. <laughs> and I will literally defrost something and go into the refrigerator and see what I have and just right. – take whatever I have from my refrigerator or my cabinet and make a meal. Yeah, isn't that amazing how some things come out? I've done that as well. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, I think Italians can just naturally cook. I'm married to one. John will appreciate this <laughs> comment. He's a wonderful Italian cook. And, yes. and where we, you know, in our heritage, we call it sauce. You guys call it the gravy. But only when you add the meat. Only when you add the <laughs> But that, and, and they're, that's so controversial. <laughs> you talk to different Italians, and other Italians will say, no, it's sauce no matter what. And now I see it. It's like there's shirts and all different uh. things. It's it's not sauce, it's gravy, or what do you call it? My family growing up, we always called it gravy, but I hear that there's no right or wrong. Okay. Whatever you call My it. My husband is, calls it gravy. I call it gravy <laughs> with the meat. I call it marinara or marinara without the gravy, without the meat. But, yeah. you know, everyone has a different taste. It is. It. I always tease him about the pronunciations of words, too, like mozzarella. I say mozzarella. Yeah. You know, just because it gets under his skin. We laugh you know? at that, too. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. That's amazing, though. So good. So what are, like, some of your favorite dishes to make? Do you consider yourself as, um, you know, do you have, like, your signature dish, as chefs call it? Yeah. No. I don't. <laughs> I don't. And I think because I like to cook so much, that's what intrigues me, is to cook different things. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can tell you that I never cook with is mushrooms. <laughs> See, I'm not a mushroom fan I've either. never eaten a mushroom. I never will. Oh. My kids have never eaten them because of the fact that I've never cooked with them. <laughs> so they think they're gross without even ever trying them. Me too. My mother thinks it's the strangest thing because she cooked with them forever. I just never ate them. Yeah. So other than that, I use pretty much everything to cook. I really just enjoy cooking. Yeah, see, like, I, see, my body goes through stages. I used to love mushrooms, and now I don't. Like, they, they gross me out. Oh, God. You know, it's so disgusting. But, I mean, coming from, being Italian, you must come from a huge family. I do. You do, wow. I do. I come from a huge family, and um, we're so close. And I was always, we were always together. So Sundays, specifically, it was always, you know, macaroni day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. In the summer is the only time I can tell you that we really don't eat macaroni on Sundays because then we'll usually be at my house or at mm -hmm. Melissa's house or in the pool. So we barbecue yeah, so a lot it's barbecue on Sundays. A lot. By the time September comes, we're like, ooh, who's making gravy? You know, you're finally <laughs> ready to eat again. 
But are that's we... when we pack on our winter weight. But you are in yeah. fabulous shape. I'm the one that gained the extra 10 pounds this, uh, this past fall. I gain weight in the winter, more in the winter, no, more in the summer than in the winter. Because in the summer, all the barbecues yeah. and the hamburgers and, that's you know, true. the cocktails. And, oh, let's have a margarita. And you're sitting by the pool and how about a Corona? <laughs> Oh, in the winter, I'm like, I'm in the house, I'm doing things. I yeah. kind of, but you know. So it's easier to keep off. For me. So, for but me. you look fabulous either Thank way. You. Honey. Thank you. This has been so great. So we're going to take our quick break here. When we come back, more with Kim Marco Perella here in her lovely home in New Jersey. We'll be right back. If you love The Jason Galka Show, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, send an email to thejasonshow at yahoo.com. Welcome back, everybody. Today, my guest once again is Kim Marco Perella, and we are here in her beautiful home in New Jersey. It is Christmas time, but of course, you're watching this at the New Year, so Happy New Year to all of you. Welcome back, Kim. Thank you again for having us sure. today. So we talked about your new web series Nick, uh, that's on nickmom.com. Mm -hmm. It is three moms walk into a dot, 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 and each week the dot, dot, dot changes to a different scenario, making these three moms, you know, Explore unfamiliar territory. If you're yes. a mom and you can handle being a mom, you can handle anything, I'm sure. True. So how does one, like yourself, be a wife, a mom, and now an upcoming reality star? How do you juggle it all? Oh, um, honestly, I don't really find it that difficult, and probably partly because my children are older. So I really don't have to be trucking them around the t mom taxi anymore, <laughs> cheerleading practices and things like that. You could so, trade in your minivan and get that Porsche you always uh -huh, wanted. Yes, that's coming. <laughs> um, but that's true. So I think that's part of it, why it's a little bit easier for me at this point. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really just the kind of person that just sees something I want to do and works to get it done. So even if the kids were little, I'd still find a way to figure it out. Still is. Yeah, but I, I think that's probably the reason why. Is it's easier. It's just my husband and I for the most part. Mm -hmm. My son works full time. My daughter's away at school. So, so would you say that this is kind of like a newfound dream that you never really knew that you had? At, that's a perfect way to put it. It really is a perfect way to put it. It's something I never thought of, and I'm so excited about the future and thinking about it now. Awesome. Yeah. So what's your advice out there to moms that are like, that were maybe in a situation where, you know, they kind of want to do something, not even show business related, just something different, as you stated, this was a new part of your life, mm -hmm. that um, are kind of hesitant to start? You know what? I, I've always felt this way. I think that so many moms, once they have children, tend to lose themselves in being a mother and being a wife and forget who they are and what they wanted, their dreams, their hopes, their future. And of course, I get that. Every mom wants to put their husband or their families first and mm -hmm. wants to you know, sort of do what's best for your family. But I've always tried to keep a line. I did a lot of reading when I was pregnant. Some <laughs> of this came from that. But I've always tried to find the line between being a mom and being a wife and still being me. So I never wanted it to be that um, I wasn't, you know, I don't know, silly things, dressing the way I wanted to dress or I always did or going places with friends and doing things that I would have an opportunity to do or that people may not take once they have kids. And so I think part of it is just focusing not only on your family, but don't forget about yourself as a mom. It's really important to remember that you have to keep yourself happy and healthy in order to take care of your family anyway, so. Excellent advice. Kim, thank you so much, number You're one, welcome. for allowing us into your beautiful home. Thank you. I know right now it's the holidays. As people are watching this at home, it's past that, but Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Have a you. Beautiful home. Merry Christmas to you. Happy New thank Year. Thank you, yes, and Happy New Year to all of you out there. If you would like a good laugh, moms out there, for a great laugh, actually, log on to www.nickmom.com and click the tab for three moms walk into a dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. dot. <laughs> Each week it's something different. You will crack up, I promise you. As always, thank you so much at home for watching. Kim, thank you once again. Thank you. We'll see you next my time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.